So guys, got this sassy human being with me and his sassy child in my stomach. We are going to the mall today. I don't like the mall. I don't think he likes the mall either. We have to go get him. Not, are we looking for a suit? Suit right over there. Or, I mean, we're not looking for a suit, right? I, I don't, don't know what it is. I don't know what we're looking for. So we are looking for something to for him to wear. That is an entire COVID testing site that used to be a car lot. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just had a, like it's, I, an COVID it's test not, that's from, that's probably was in 2020 so and like up. early last year. Sorry, I just had a total squirrel moment. These car lots, we haven't come this way in a long time and these car lots that used to be straight up huge were like full COVID testing sites. It looks like something you see out of a movie. Like you drive past this old, what was a car lot, now it's a former testing site for the vid. Um, so we have maternity photos three weeks from today and I have my dresses that I'm wearing. We have an I have an idea of what we want Sam to wear, but we don't know. And then we also have my friend's wedding two weeks from today that I believe you'll just wear your gray suit for. Um, so we're kind of gonna just figure it out. He also needs some shirts. The only thing I for sure need is a really. white button-up shirt that is not see-through. Yeah, which is my, so hard to find. You can see my tattoos through the two I have. They need, I just need to get rid of those. Yeah, like, but that's so hard to find. It's just a shirt that's like all the way. They make them thin to make them so that they're not super hot. I mean, yeah, but you also like need to be able to wear they, a white shirt without assume it. You're gonna wear an undershirt, which I, even some of my undershirts. You can do. see the undershirts. Yeah. <laughs> like he'll wear these white shirts, and it's the kind that's like made to wear with a suit. Where if you take off the jacket, you know that it has a like layer that goes down the middle. Um, so it's it's just like you can see his tattoo because he has a pretty big chest tattoo, and then he has one on his ribs. And so it's just like, even with an undershirt, sometimes <clears throat> you can see it. But after we go here, we are gonna go back to uh, this place in Boiling Springs, Protect Tinting, and pick up my car. My car is being tinted today. I am so excited. I was supposed to get it tinted in like three weeks, but we got we put the our names on the list of like, call us if anyone cancels. And they called us last night. What was it, like four o'clock? I mean, it was like 4.30, it was, they called me right before I finished work. It was tail end of the work day. And we're like, hey, can your wife be here at nine? And he, I heard him say, hold on, it's my wife's car that we're bringing, let me ask her. And like he, before he could even hit hold, I went, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so um, kind of a busy day, but I'll show you guys a little, I'll put a little clip in here. A little baby boy this morning was shaking my entire body. I woke up and he was on the left side and he, my whole stomach was like rattling because he was just in there moving. I think we're getting really close to being able to see features of like what is moving. So like if he's kicking me with his foot versus hitting me with his hand. Um, but it was, it was really cool. So I'll put that clip in here. Good morning, baby boy. Okay, so we are home, Sam. <laughs> so when we went to drop my car off, um, we went to the place that Sam's parents took his car to when he was like a freshman in college, I think is when they got his. So he asked him, he was like, I can't remember, it's been so many years. What do I clean my car with? And she said invisible glass is like the, um, for, the the tent because you know it's the tent is actually put on the inside of your car so we had to go to buy AutoZone and get some of that because it's like tent safe so it's ammonia free so he's outside actually cleaning the inside of his car and he's like super happy but we ended up finding him some pants and a top for maternity photos very simple nothing crazy i don't think we're gonna have him in any colors because i'm wearing colors and I don't want to match the colors and not do it correctly. Um, so got very simple. Also like found him just like a regular shirt. We got these. We like randomly had time. These pillows are so comfortable. So it is the Sealy brand memory foam pillow. Like without a doubt. I mean, memory foam is always like a win, but like Sealy brand, y'all, these are where it is at. These things are super, super soft so we needed some new pillows um so 
that's really what we did today. Oh, we did go by Target as well, and all we got was a lampshade for a baby boy's room because the lamp that we have in there, the shade is so big that the lamp itself is like not that big, and it has to be pulled out from the wall so far because it's just such a large shade. So we're gonna see how that fits, but I don't know. My expectations are a little bit low. We'll 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 see. Um, but let me show you guys my outfit. I don't remember Sam making the bed before we left, but I guess he did. Probably one of those things he did when I was like, come on, okay, we're running late, let's go. He was like, okay, hold on. Even though he'd been sitting in there like drinking his coffee. Probably got it made bed. It's okay, it could be worse. Today's outfit. I have some dresses there that I got for newborn photos. Um, for after we have the baby. Just gonna go with dresses because they'll be flowy and comfortable and I won't have to wear pants. Um, so this is the look that I'm wearing today. I have on the same black maternity top that I am wearing nonstop now. I literally, like every day, I'm wearing a black maternity top and jeans, like these jeans. But I have them on with this Nordstrom jacket that I got from the Nordstrom sale. Um, it's really comfortable and warm, so went ahead and grabbed this. Got myself 28 Weaker in there, going crazy today. And then... Mark Fisher booties. Like, this is a staple, 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 <laughs> and then a jacket. So, that's today's look. I'll have it linked below for you guys. It is Sunday the 23rd. I cannot believe we are officially in the last week of January. Um, so, yesterday was a productive day. Today's been a fun day. We just got back from lunch with one of Sam's former... Hold on, let me just put this down because my arm hurts. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, we just got back from lunch with one of Sam's former teammates. Um, he was on the track team in college and this guy was as well. Where's that hair? I don't feel like that hair belongs on this side. Yep, it doesn't. Um, he was on the track team and he's kept in touch with a few of the guys from his track team and went and had lunch with him today in Spartanburg. It was really, really fun. Uh, we went to Cribs Kitchen, it was just so delicious. Cribs has been around forever, but their menu just is always superior. Um, so now we're home. I have to film a main channel video. I actually was telling Sam, I um, last night had just like another pregnancy hormonal anxiety freak out. They've been a lot more frequent lately because I told you guys in my third trimester, second trimester recap, on my main channel, like pregnancy is not all rainbows and butterflies and people like there never fails to be someone who makes me feel like crap because I say that. But actually a lot of people were like, thank you for saying that because it's so true. <laughs> I just had like one of the worst freakouts last night. I was just, I'm so anxious. And I told Sam, I know me and I know my anxiety, even pregnant, I just know it. And I know pregnancy hormones versus my regular anxiety. Like I'm very in tune with my body. Um, and like people try, like a, for example, when I was talking about Sasha passing, like when one of the first vlogs after I filmed, like after you guys know I was pregnant, someone tried to be like, what was it? Grief is not pregnancy hormones. And I was like, no, but this level of grief is pregnancy hormones because I know my body and I know my grief and I know how I grieve. I've done it plenty of times, but thanks. Um, and that's how like, I just, I know my anxiety at this point and I know my pregnancy hormones versus anxiety. And I know that just getting this kid Earthside is going to relieve so much of that. Like I just have so many things that are that make me anxious because simply I can't put my eyes on him and like once you're going through the motions um it's different than knowing that you're gonna go through the emotions soon so I'm just like to the point now where I'm just really getting over it um grateful to be here grateful to still have everything be very simple that's one of the things Sam's teammate asked today he was like so you've had it's not been bad and I was like no I've been very blessed but I am over it I've got 12 more weeks and I, I'm over it. I just, I want my kid here. Um, random little tidbit today, but I've got a killer kick-ass husband who is just so good at handling me and my anxious tendencies. I could focus on this topic all day. So today I'm going to film a video and I'm going to do my leg workouts because anytime I do my leg workouts, I notice that my, I think it's SPD is what it's called, the like, that pain in your pelvis and your crotch. It just like hurts so bad um, from pregnancy because I think I looked it up, it's like the tendons and the ligaments and all that. Anytime I do leg day, 
it feels so much better and also going to the chiropractor makes it feel better i went to the chiropractor on thursday though so at this point i mean it's just a lot of it is me getting significantly bigger um but anytime i've noticed i do leg day i always feel really good for a couple days after and that like pain that just soreness does go away so that is something i'm going to start trying to make sure that i am like super good about it's just like i think it's usually squats that really help i don't know why um but i'm gonna try and do that today i also want to show you guys a little sneak peek of the nursery because let me take off my shoes we have the rug down in there officially and i know i kind of showed you guys a little bit of it the other day when we were um when i was putting the swing together but we actually went in there just a couple nights ago it was fr yeah it was friday night and got some more boxes and stuff take it out so really starting to look like a baby nursery but i'll show you guys a little sneak peek again so again nothing in here is like we're not married to the placement of anything in here except for the crib the dresser and the um the chair here so like i'm not going to show you the lamp because i can't show you the lamp without showing you his name sign so we don't know if the lamp's gonna stay on this side or this side and we don't know if you know we know the swing probably won't stay there the car seat's not even going to be in here it's going to be in the car uh so placement wise nothing is really <laughs> set in stone we're not going to have this nursery finished until probably early march so again just like a little sneak peek here so this is actually the table that we went to pick up at Target the other day. I don't know if I vlogged that. I know I talked about the car tent, but on Friday we went to pick this up and I can't show it again, this like name sign to you, but this actually matches. It looks a little bit more red on camera than it is in person. This actually matches his name sign absolutely perfectly and it was not at all planned. So that's from Target. Got his recliner here and then a lampshade that we were going to put on the lamp, but that would not work so we have to return it. Um, that's the swing that I put together. Pretty proud of myself for that one because the instructions sucked. Just absolute chaos in here. But crib, rug, and then over there I have an absolute hodgepodge of stuff. Like nothing is probably as you see. It's like not going to stay like that. So, I mean, especially that. He's good. That's his changing pad. But yeah, we've just kind of got a little bit of it put together. The black little cart here beside me isn't gonna stay because um, that will obviously be what goes throughout the house with me. I'm gonna have my breast pump on it, some diapers, like a little touchdown station basically for um, changing his diaper. So we are getting there, but we definitely still have a ways to go. Um, my goal as of right now, so like I still have little things like this in the box. Like this so i bought these because be my breast friend i think is her instagram handle talks about the baby buddha pump which i actually bought in place of lv i was going to do the lv instead um and wear that as my like secondary pump and then use spectra am i using my correct words i don't even know um spectra do might be my primary now spectra will be my primary and then the baby buddha will be my secondary it's not hands-free the same way but it is still different but she was talking about how you can wear these silicone collection cups and like hack it with the baby buddha so i bought these so like this kind of stuff needs to get out of its box before we have our shower because that is when I want to have everything out of its box and at least in a general place before we have the shower and then we're going to bring in everything out that we get and then that way we'll be able to organize and it won't be every single thing that we have in here because it is like it's getting very overwhelming very bad um i also have like all my breast stuff breast breast pump stuff my nursing stuff in here um just because i wasn't sure like where i wanted to put that yet but now i have a drawer i just haven't moved it look at all these bottles Every single pump that I've purchased comes with like its own set of bottles. So I got the Spectra for, from um, my insurance. So it came with Spectra bottles. Well, then I got an extra like cooling bag. I think it's right. Insurance paid for like an extra one is those. And so it came with three other Spectra bottles. And then the Baby Buddha came with their own bottles. And then we also got Advent bottles as a gift at Christmas. And I think we also have the couple small advent bottles too hold on where are they yeah so it's just like these are all the bottles that we have to take and sterilize before so it's a lot but we're getting there it has been very very good for me mentally to not do this all at once 
Um, again, everyone knows themselves. They know their mental well-being. Some people can't do it in slow increments. They have to do it all at once. For me, if I walked in and every bit of what was in here, even, even a month ago was in here after I had my shower, I would full blown panic, freak out, leave and just wouldn't do it. So doing little parts of it at a time have helped me so much. And I feel a lot better about what we have versus what we need versus I have a general sense of where things are gonna go, but I'm gonna wait. So it's, it's going good. It's getting along in here. I'm very, very happy with the progress we have made in the baby nursery. This rug though. This rug is super nice. It came from Walmart. Oh my gosh. I mean, it was not cheap. It's definitely one of the nicer lines at Walmart, but it is very, very nice. 